This is problem 12 from your review sheet for exam one. We are to write the equation of the line in slope intercept form that passes through the point four negative seven. So here's the point four negative seven. There's a line, I drew it as a dotted line here. There's a line that we don't know yet that passes through the point four negative seven and is parallel to the line defined by three x plus y equals nine. I drew in the line that would correspond to the equation 3x plus y equals 9. Now, what do we know about parallel lines? Well, parallel lines never cross. The only way that can happen is they have to have the same slope. So whatever the slope is of this line, which is, a show, which is associated with this equation, whatever the slope is of this line has to be the slope of our line. So if we could somehow determine the slope of this line, we would know the slope of our line. So we would know the m value of the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. And we would then plug in the point to find the b value as we've done before. Well, how do we find the slope of a line from the equation? We put it in slope intercept form. I'll take the equation of this line, to which our line is parallel, put it in slope intercept form, I'll know the slope of this line, which will tell me the slope of our line. I'll subtract 3x from both sides. The slope of this line is negative 3, so the slope of our line has to be negative 3. Parallel lines have the same slope. So if our line that passes through 4, negative 7 is parallel to this line, this line had a slope of negative 3, our line has a slope of negative 3. Now again, we simply take the point we have, substitute those values for x and y, and we can solve for b. y is negative 7 when x is 4. Negative 7 equals negative 12 plus b. Adding 12 to both sides, I get b equals 5. And our equation is y equals negative 3x plus 5. Notice it has the same slope as this line. Both have a slope of negative 3. They have different y-intercepts. have different y-intercepts. So that's how we find the equation of a line when we know something about that line. In particular, what we knew here was that our line was parallel to the line defined by that equation. So we first found, we first found the slope of this line by putting that equation in slope-intercept form, and then we used that slope along with our point to find our equation. This is problem 12 from your review sheet.